it's not. Oh. Hey, oh. it's morning. How do you do? Oh, like We've got some things special for you. It's just no fun. It's just no fun. Nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> we worked very hard on that one. Yeah, yeah. Very refreshing. Good. Thank you. The number there. All right. <laughs> number nine. Here's something to haunt your dreams: the invasion of the nutria. They are large rodents with giant orange teeth. Wow. Ugh. Nutria are native to South America, but they've uh, been in the States oh, since yeah. the late 1800s. Here's the thing, they really like to procreate, and they do this all year long. Good so <laughs> they're causing lots of problems on both U.S. coasts, damaging trees and golf courses. They're trying to trap them and get them fixed so they can stop multiplying, but it's not that easy because Nutria don't have necks. Oh, that's right. Can't put a collar on them. Kiss your children before they head off the door this morning because two of the Nutria were caught in beaver traps here in Illinois Whoa. last year. Look at there. Never even heard of a Nutria. Yeesh, those teeth. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Ooh. All right, number eight, time for more 19th century slang. So back to the education department we go. Yesterday we told you about the old horizontal refreshment, which is exactly what it sounds like. Well, today the topic is, and the word is, fart catcher. Uh, fart catcher was a slang term used to describe a valet or a footman or a maid walking behind their wealthy employers. Fart catcher. There you are. I don't believe I it. Don't I think believe somebody's it. making that up on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Just because it's on the internet doesn't mean we should have to put it on well, TV. Uh, it's opened up a good debate now. Yeah, it no, it really has not <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, number seven. Some people out there might have some eucalyptus hanging in the shower. Oh. The idea is the steam brings our oils and nice smell from the plant, kind of like a natural diffuser. Yeah. Not brings our, brings it out. Well. Sure. There's another plant that works well in the bathroom as well, mint, peppermint specifically. It's one of the most aromatic herbs and it's also one of the fastest growing. So you can put the whole peppermint plant in there or clip off some leaves from a mint plant. You put them in your shower and yeah. it just smells nice, I guess. Ooh. People on social media where everything is correct. Yeah. Say it makes the whole bathroom smell great. Yeah, All or right. you can go to Pier 1 and get some potpourri. Yeah. Yeah. Call it a day. The there you potpourri. Go. Number six, looking for something to do with the kids this summer? Forget theme parks. Take them to Canada and take a walk along Capilano Canyon in Vancouver. This is Cliff Walk. It's 30 stories high, hovering over the Capilano River Canyon. It's 700 feet long, so you can linger or wander all day if you like. If you're in a hurry, you can cross the bridge and come back again in less than 30 minutes. And if you're afraid of heights, it's not the place for you. But if you're looking for a thrill, this could do the trick. And if you're worried about safety, there's really no need. The bridge was built to hold 100,000 pounds. Great. No, thanks. All right, number five. Um, we have yet to find the world's largest freshwater fish. It's out there somewhere. Zeb Hogan is the founder of the Mega Fishes Project. He also hosts, he's also the host of uh, Nat Geo's Wild Monster Fish Show. And he says he's come close to finding the largest fish, but he has yet to succeed. He'd have beat the current record. The world's largest freshwater fish uh, ever caught was 661 pound female stingray. Villagers found the fish on the Mekong River in Cambodia, and it took a dozen men to haul the stingray to shore. And Hogan believes an even bigger freshwater fish is out there somewhere, and he wants to find it. All right. Number four, besides rich parents and Ivy League educations, many of the young thought leaders who have made the Forbes 30 under 30 list have another thing very much in common. They're accused criminals and fraudsters. The latest oh. to join the list is a young woman named Charlie Javis. Her father has a hedge fund. She went to UPenn and then she founded a startup that had something to do with student loans. JP Morgan bought it for $175 million, but they didn't do enough homework on Charlie. She had paid someone for 4 million fake student names to make the company look legit. The other people on the Forbes 30 under 30 list who have been convicted or accused of serious crimes are the crypto guy, Sam Bankman fried his colleague Caroline Ellison, Trevor Milton, who had an auto startup, and farmer bro Martin, farmer bro Shkreli. Uh, Elizabeth Holmes of Theranos was never on the list, but she was continually hyped by Forbes. Wow. So. 
Remember, it's what do you, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. So if uh -huh. you're not strong out of the gate, bet, get, to pace yourself. Right. Yes, we have not been convicted yet. Not yet. At all. Not yet. All right, number three, here's a quick one. These are outtakes of the teases taped for Saturday Night Live. It's 1993, Charles Barkley and Nirvana. Hi, I'm Charles Barkley, host of the season premiere of Saturday Night Live with Nirvana. Look, Mom, your favorite, Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> Back. Hi, I'm Charles Barkley. I'm hosting the season premiere of Saturday Night Live with Nirvana. I'm not a role model, and these guys really aren't role models. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Adam. Oh, it's more. God, that's no. weird. This is right? so awkward. Yeah. What do you think of that Barkley back to host Saturday Night Live? That would be great. <laughs> He's the best. He doesn't need them, that's no. for sure. All right, number two, yesterday... Uh, we showed you a priest at a Catholic church in Florence, Italy, carry on the thousand-year-old Easter tradition of lighting a dove-shaped rocket inside the cathedral that shoots down the aisle and outside. Well, here's a look at the cart full of fireworks that the dove ignites. Partita accesa. Ecco il volo della Colombina. Ecco il volo della Colombina. Perfetto all'andata, esce all'esterno. Ecco. Incendio, incendio, incendio il carro, carro sta oh, tornando indietro. Sta tornando indietro. Vediamo il ritorno. Perfetto, perfetto, perfetto. perfetto, perfetto, perfetto. Buona Pasqua. Yeah, buona Pasqua. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Look at that. Now, what is the theology behind this? I am so uh, confused. Yeah, I don't know the theology. I don't either. It's I've never heard Old this. It's got to be Old Testament stuff. Yeah. I, I don't remember learning this in, in school at all. But well, we should have. It's got to be in like Deuteronomy or Hezekiah or something, one of those. You know, the hymns are nice, but come on, right. you got to jack it up a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Yeah. not just a simple firework. The problem is everyone's in the sanctuary. They really should come yeah. on out and watch this. What? <laughs> they should have like evil can evil come out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jump over uh, yeah. it. Yeah. Just like an angel. Fly over it and then down the aisle. Look at yeah. this. It's still, it's like a whole. Like cigars floating on the top. There's going to be something yeah. that flies off the top here. Yeah. What? This, this is how it should safe. be done. It really Don't worry about safe. safe. The Lord is present. Yeah, we actually cut this down. This went on and on and... Wow. It's Easter. You, you got to give it a big blow here. You can't just do it in like ten, five minutes. You just like the good Lord. Yeah. 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 Three days. Wow, that is All something. All right. Number one, there's the uh, streaming show called Louder Milk that may or may not be back for a fourth season. It's kind of uh, in network limbo right now. Anyway, here's a funny scene with star Ron Livingston and Maddie Phillips. What can I get you? I'd like a large coffee. Okay, so hot coffee? Hot coffee. Okay, room for cream? Totally leave room for cream. Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like that? Because this is my voice? This is my voice. <laughs> No, it's not. I heard you talking a minute ago. I know you don't talk like that. Neither do you, because nobody actually talks like this. You choose to talk like this, and today I chose to talk like this. Pretty f***ing annoying, isn't it? Why are you so rude, man? Just stop doing that. I can't help it. This is my voice. No, it's not. It's an affectation <laughs> that annoying teenagers and rich people use to sound like they don't give a Except you work in a coffee shop, so I know you're not rich, and you don't look like a teenager. Unless you're a Eunice Kennedy Shriver, knock it off. So just because I talk like this means I don't give a sh and what exactly am I supposed to not give a shit about? That's an excellent question to ask yourself in your actual voice. Excuse me. Some of us would like to order. <laughs> You're a total man. There. There you go. Good. <laughs> I got now I'm on board. Yeah. That's the nine at nine. That's good stuff. <laughs>
Nine, nine.